all loaded in, ready to go once again. Playing as the uh, Tomb Kings today, and I think uh, going against the Empire. I think it's the Empire, at least. Um, kind of a weird hilly terrain here with a shit ton of trees in the background. It's rather annoying. But, uh, but we'll have to make do. Of course, it being the Empire makes it a little bit difficult to prepare for, as probably going to bring some cavalry, but you don't always see Empire bring cavalry. Um... But uh, but I think I think it's a safe proposition here. Um, other than that, maybe maybe some artillery for their for their uh, for their side. However, we brought in a piece of our own, so I do hope that we, that we have a little bit of an advantage there. As I really like that uh, screaming skull catapult, um, and also a bone giant as well. In fact, as uh, really good for sniping out those fast moving cavalry units as well. I also got a little bit of killing power in the um, in the tomb guard, and then uh, I believe that I brought yeah scorpion somewhere here, and then my main killing power actually in these great bows. Uh, I'm really worried about uh, cavalry units, as you can see. <laughs> Anyways, looking at the enemy's uh, troops count, he's got a little bit over 1,200, so doesn't look like he's going to be doing any cheesy bullshit, which is good, and that means that we can get everyone into a nice group right here. And actually, we'll get these guys into their own group as well, and we can kind of focus fire if need be. So let's see. Uh, we'll start. We'll start with the match and see what 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 needs what needs hitting here. Well, great swords right there. That's a great target for my uh, screaming skull. And uh, ooh, uh -oh. we got some issues back there. Of course, oh, Jesus man, those bastards. All right, so I'll actually initiate the uh, the charge command there. Or not the charge command, but the move up command. We'll, we'll charge a little bit later. Uh, do need to move these guys into position. Uh, let's let's kind of hide in the trees a little bit as well and get around their sides. We got plenty of uh, plenty of outriders to target with these guys. Yeah, it looks like just a shit ton of skirmish cav. So strange strange kind of array here. Um, I'm actually gonna have everyone run. We're just gonna take so much damage from these fucking hellstorm rocket batteries. I think he has three units of them. Jesus, man. Oh my god. Okay, that it. That's something. I don't think I've seen that before. I don't think I've actually seen that before. Um, <laughs> oh my god, man. That is terrifying, actually. And then it looks like he's got uh, Belthshar Gelt on a nice uh, flying Pegasus, perhaps. Yeah. Okay. All right, then. I suppose this is part of the match where we uh, look for the right matchups here. He doesn't really have too many things on the ground, but those skirmish units can be annoying. Um, we'll see how it works out, but I'll, I'll, I'll target them with my great bows uh, on both sides. And that should be actually pretty good. Uh, pretty good at sniping them. Um, if I could, I, I you know, I'm kind of split here on whether I want to target his lord as well with my bone giant. I suppose I'll, I'll try to fire a couple shots at him and see how it does, see how it does. And uh, for the rest of our troops here, it looks like, um, looks like it's pretty straightforward, actually. So, everyone's charging up right now. Uh, are you guys firing yet or what? You guys are in range. What are you doing? Why aren't you firing? There you go. All right. They're, they're nice and winding up, and we got one, and we got another unit from the uh, from the flank coming in on this unit over here too. That's good. Let's just make sure that these make sure that these tomb guards get there nice and safe because that is uh, <laughs> that is the extent of our killing power on the actual line battles itself. But uh, for the rest of it, I, I think actually okay right now. We have made it, um, albeit quite beat up here. Let's give them a nice little leadership boof, and I'll actually commit my lord to the mainline battle for now. Looks like he's not going to be going after my uh, catapult, so that's fine. Um, now, where did that where did that lord go? Where did that Belshard Gel go? Where is he? There he is. Okay, I see him in the air, so we have not hit him at all just yet. Uh, oh, he's not even targeting him. All right, well, fair enough. It's it's a fair enough target with the um, with the great swords, anyways. But uh, I would like to try to you know force a few shots into him if we can, and get a nice surround going on over here if we can, and get some nice uh, some nice <laughs> summons going on right here if we can of which I will do right now, but I'm kind of split. Should I, have, should I have summoned that on their front line? Probably should have, although, you know, it's not nev never a bad idea to just delete that in the back line there as well, although it's probably not too much of a threat actually to what we're doing here. My Bone Giants used most of its ammunition already. This is actually not even, uh, not even that much, uh, not, not, uh, not even that big of a deal there, but, um, but you need to strengthen this front line. Hey, hey, Mr. Uh, hey, Mr. Tomb Scorpion, I got a nice target for you. How about those crossbows, perhaps? Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> and this is this is what we have to deal with now as far as these pistoliers go and outriders go. Um, they won't be able to do too much damage, so they're, they're more so just annoying than anything else, but seeing as we don't really have too many more targets in the front line to go after, it would seem like that would be a, a fine prospect anyways. Um, 
So fair enough. Uh, might, as, might as well clean up these guys right here uh, while our great bows keep on firing in on them. And uh, they actually might be able to kill them off with a few more a few more volleys over there. Actually looking okay. Looking pretty damn good, in fact. And we have completely collapsed their back line. Uh, let's get these let's get these Ushtabis, uh back on over here and just clean these guys up as well. Starting to collapse them in rather, rather aggressively now too, which is good. And breaking off a lot of their uh, pistoliers on the flank as well. Well, not actually, not, they were wavering for a second there. Uh, but they are taking a decent amount of damage. Just need to make sure that we uh, collapse in on their, on their main kind of uh, group right there. Looking like everything else is pretty much, um, pretty much standard here. Let's actually make sure that we completely kill off these great swords. That would be the biggest issue going on with that particular crew. As far as this one goes over here, I think it's uh, safe to commit. Or do we want to commit them? Mm. Uh, yeah, let's commit them to the spearman uh, battle right there. And it looks like our, uh, our great bows deleting out to the great swords. Great bows versus great swords. I like it. I like it a lot. And as far as the back line goes, it looks like we are just kind of shuffling them into a nice little kill zone while our great bows continue to, uh, to get some good shots into them. But uh, going to be blocked by a lot of these trees, so I'm, I think I'm going to retarget these guys back here instead. That's got a nice health pool to begin with anyway, so probably a better use of that, uh, of that ammunition. Oops, Tomb Scorpion, pretty much full health. I'm going to have him join the main battle over here. Uh, make sure that we run all these guys who are already routing off to, uh, to the end of the map and uh, make sure that they don't come back. How about that? Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. And actually, I think from there we can pull off this unit of Great Bows and they can come over here and help out with, uh, with dealing with all these nasty and very annoying <laughs> missile calves. But uh, I think other than that, we're, d we're doing completely fine here. Um... Actually, int uh, I think I'll pull them more so into uh, into visual view. Oh, and it looks like uh, Mr. Gelt has landed on my uh, catapults. Well, that's to be expected, and that's kind of fine actually as well. Just need to make sure that uh, we clean up all, we mop up all of the ground units here because otherwise he's not going to really have a chance anyways. So not really an issue, but uh, for right now, just need to make sure that we continue to push off these units. These guys are just about out themselves, but that's, they, they, uh, you know, they were never gonna stay around for too long anyways. It's really these units right here that can present a little bit of an issue because they are rather fast. Um, but assuming that we can corral them in, then it's just a matter of time before we get our great bows over there and march them off the map. And I think that's almost what we're ready to do here. Jesus Christ, man. Really going to really gonna elongate this map, uh, or sorry, this match out. Uh, I will keep the pressure on them with those two units, and then we'll pull these guys back right there. There you go. Lord, come over here. You, you, you fools, come over here and uh, maybe give a nice target to those outriders right there. That'll be good. Where did my other unit go? There they are. Oh, they're right here. Okay, beautiful. All right, we can have them both kind of zero in on this uh, unit of outriders. Nice. Okay, let's grab these guys over here. Give a nice little protective zone for our uh, great bows. And looking like our bone giant actually going to be able to take... Or, nah, I don't know if he'll be able to take on uh, Mr. Gelt, but he'll be able to keep him busy for a little bit of time. And more importantly, these uh, pistoliers won't be... I don't think they have, they have the killing power to even kill these uh, spearmen, in fact, which is kind of nice. Uh, they're almost... One of the units is almost out of ammunition. The other one still got a decent amount left, but um, that'll take a little bit of time to chew through. Remember that we are the uh, Tomb Kings, so we don't really have to worry about any sort of breakaging or anything like that. And that is a massive, 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 massive advantage in a match like this, which is going to be rather grindy out to the very end. And I think with another volley or two against these Outriders, they're probably going to shatter off, uh, perhaps. Uh, do we have any other ones to be aware of over here? Yeah, one more unit, actually uh, full, full health, but very low ammunition, and then a crossbow unit right there as well. But uh, all that's dealable with as far as the right hand uh, forest battle goes. Looks like our uh, spearmen have collapsed in on their spearmen and we're winning that battle. So doing well over there. Uh, this unit over here. Is that my, um, yeah, that is my uh, tomb guard with halberds. Okay, cool. They're, gonna, they're about to run off the enemy right there. Outriders over here out of ammunition as well. <laughs> out, out, out. It's <laughs> it makes so much sense. And uh, I think oh, they're going to waver and come back, but we should be able to finish them off relatively uh, soon. And... Um, you guys on the catapults is there any good targets well i guess might as well go uh, go against those spearmen over there why not there's not really anyone else and um ah looky 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 what we got right here outriders came to play <coughs> problem is right now is that um 
we are pretty much out of ammunition. Now the uh, Screaming Skull will start to fire in once again, so we do have that working for us, I guess. Uh, although they did lose, I think, one of the catapults there, so we got three running right now. But that's fine. Um, what we need to be aware of here. Oh, and he's done. Yeah, I, th I think that, that was kind of an unwinnable match for him, just kind of delaying the inevitable there. But uh, let's see what we ha what we did here. So Great Swords actually did a tremendous amount of work for, uh, for, for the Empire. Almost 200 kills in that particular unit. As far as my side went, it was really the Great Bows pulling, pulling a lot of the heavy lifting plus the Screaming Skull catapult. All of our ground troops pretty much spread even there. And uh, it was more so just a group effort, you know, taking out their, their higher value targets really early and then collapsing on them. And that will do it for this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.